And no one ever says it's the best thing since the iPhone or since television. The saying goes it's the best thing since sliced bread. But do you know where that saying came from? I went to Chilla Coffee, where sliced bread is literally the toast of the town. There really is a need for stories just like this one. When you stop and think about it. Especially while there are historians like Miss Mary Catherine to sit down and break bread with us. A lot of young people have no idea what we uh, what we did to grow up. She was born 96 years ago. Eight, 18. 22. As a teen moved to Chillicothe, a city on the rise. Back in the days when, when we had dirt roads. Making trips to the grocery store was quite the adventure. I had a lady say to me one time, you sure must have had it easy. And I, if I ever wanted to hit anybody, it was her. <laughs> She had no idea. You had to go in the spring wagon with the team of horses to get your grocery. One thing usually missing from that grocery list, bread. When I grew up, my mother made homemade bread. You get one slice this wide, one slice this wide. Maybe I'm exaggerating that a little bit, but that's a difference. Or at least there was a difference that changed when Miss Mary Catherine was a toddler. On July 7th, 1928, Chilla Coffee became the first bakery in the world to offer sliced bread to the public. Ed Douglas, also known as Sliced Ed, is I, I helping so. document that history. The idea of sliced bread, it was the crowning achievement of jeweler turned inventor Otto Rowetter. He faced a lot of resistance and like a lot of inventors, a lot of guys who have uh, they go against the grain, so to speak. The idea was anything but crummy to a bakery on this corner, and Douglas says bread sales at this location increased by 2,000%. It brings more dough, that's right. <laughs> Everyone knows the saying, the greatest thing since sliced bread. You hear it all the time. I've heard presidents say it. I hear it, I hear it worldwide. Nobody says that's the greatest thing since the iPad. There are murals in Chillicothe, even a museum dedicated to sliced bread. Douglas and his team, they've approached state lawmakers to recognize July 7th as Sliced Bread Day in Missouri. They say it has to pass this legislative session, otherwise they're toast. We were researching what other places have, and there's a place out in Colorado, I forget where, they've got a frozen dead guy. Nothing special about him, he's just frozen and he's dead. Well, I mean, I think this is a little better than that. So does Mary Catherine. It's an invention she doesn't take for granted when eating some of her favorite meals. BLT, chicken salad sandwich. Uh, a hamburger. No matter how you slice it, it's an invention everyone can feed off of. <laughs> Chillicothe leaders also want to take part in the promotion of Highway 36, also known as the Highway of American Genius, because along that route, there's the home of sliced bread, J.C. Penney's home in Hamilton, Walt Disney's childhood home in Marceline, Mark Twain in Hannibal, and so much more there.